With this next update containing a direct contender to dethrone the M1, we are going to do a bit of a comparison between the M1 and the brand new AR-10-308 because there is uh, actually quite a crazy difference between the two from my experience in using both of them. And today we're going to kind of go over the differences because uh, recently I got a comment on uh, what the differences were between the M1 and the 308. So I think it's about time that we actually do a full video talking about those differences and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna test a bunch of various different uh, categories including uh, the kill time the penetration and also the uh, fire rate things like that and just see the differences between the M1 and the 308 now keep in mind I do have maximum recoil perks and a lot of uh, other perks that will improve the uh, handling of the rifles so it will not be the same for everybody keep that in mind because uh, perks do play a pretty huge role in how things work in uh, Call of the Wild, but right here we've got ourselves some red deer. Uh, these two are at very similar distances. Unfortunately, they're probably going to spook once we take a shot, but I think without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, start up these different uh, comparison tests to see which rifle really is the best, and the first one we'll do is the kill time. You know, I am never afraid to admit when I am wrong about something, and I was definitely wrong about a couple things when it comes to the comparison of these two rifles. Now, while the 308 is still definitely the better rifle of the two, it wasn't quite as much of a blowout as I expected it to be. The M1 actually did do decent in a lot of the categories. Now, the main thing where we saw a lot of differences was actually with just the recoil control. I mean, the target reacquisition was so much better on the uh, 308. It's much easier to get back on target. And the M1 kicks up way higher and does not really come back down to the target at all. You have to manually drag it back down, which, uh, especially on console, that is going to be one of the most noticeable things when it comes to recoil but as far as things like the actual kill time they were literally identical at both 320 meters and 168 meters all of them were double lung shots on red deer and the kill time was exactly the same and considering the 308 has i believe two more penetration and two or three more expansion than the 30-06 uh, on the polymer tip rounds that is I was very shocked to see that because the 308 should have a much faster kill time and that makes me wonder if that's actually intentional. I'm honestly not sure if maybe it's not intended for them to kill at the exact same speed or maybe the actual like penetration and expansion is a uh, typo. It's really hard to say but I hope we get an answer to that in the near future. So honestly I think the 308 is a better gun. However, you don't necessarily have to buy it to keep up with everybody else. The M1 will still do fine, but the 308 is definitely much better when it comes to uh, the actual recoil control and target reacquisition, and it does reload slightly faster, and I believe the fire rate was just a hair faster, but not enough to really be too much of a difference. But there is indeed a slightly faster fire rate with the uh, 308. But as I said, I was definitely wrong about a couple things with this rifle, and it's nice to get it cleared up as to like what actually is the differences between the two. Let me know if you want me to do some more testing on these two rifles in the future. Maybe we'll compare them on some different species at different ranges. I think it could be cool to get some further research on this as this was just the kind of first iteration of tests. And also let me know if you want me to test some of the other new weapons versus some of the old ones like the uh, 22 AR versus the other 22s in the game. 
And if I see a lot of comments down there wanting me to try certain weapons and uh, compare them, then we will uh, do another video like this for uh, those weapons. But uh, with that being said, if you guys are brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any of the future content. And leave a comment down below, like I said, on what you would like to see me compare next. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!